Good morning everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Leaf Classes. I am Anjali. Children, today we will be doing the string patterns using single loop. Yes, when you don't have nested loop in your syllabus, then if the string patterns are asked, you have to do it using single loop. And in doing this, we will be using single loop and the string functions. Right, children? So we start with the first pattern today. And this is the easiest one which I have taken. Right? The question says, accept a word. Children, when I am writing here, accept a word, that means the word should be entered from the user during the execution of the program. So, blue j is not the word which you have to initialize to a string variable while writing the program. This is a sample input. Children, again I am telling you here, so many times I have already told you, sample input means if this input is given, then what will be the output, right? So, this is not the value which you have to assign. So, any word which is given, you have to print the output according to that, right? So, if the word is blue j, the sample output is blue j, blue j like this five times. Now, if we observe this pattern, this is printed five times. That means that is the length of this string. The length of string blue j is equals to 5. So, very simple. Here I have written the program so that it is easy for you to take the screenshot to understand. And in case of any doubt, please do comment, right? So, here you will be entering sc.next. Why I have taken next? Because in the question it is mentioned that except a word, word we input using next function, right? Where we don't want any spaces in between. Then you have to find the length using length function, s dot length. In s we have entered the word, s dot length is to find the length of that. Now whatever is the length, according to that, that many times you have to display the same word. So, if length is 5, that means I want to display that string 5 times. So, I can take the loop from 0 to less than L. Suppose the length is 5, then 0 to less than L, that is 0 to less than 5 will execute it for the times 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, total 5 times, right? In place of this, you can take the loop from 1 to 5 also, right? So, it is up to us. Because we are not using this looping variable anywhere to be printed. So, the loop should be executed 5 times. I can take 0 to 4 or 1 to 5. It is totally up to me. Right? And then print ln s. Why I have used system.out.println? Because after printing the first string, I want to shift the cursor to the next line. Then second, then third, then fourth and then fifth. So, print ln will be used. If suppose in place of this, this is blue j, then second blue j, third blue j, fourth blue j, fifth blue j. Then in that case, you need to use print statement only. Children, if you want, please take the screenshot of this program. And then the next program will be a little difficult like this. In uh, ascending order, we are moving from the easiest to the difficult one. Right, children? Now, we move on to the second program. Accept a word and display it in following format. If the sample input is blue j, the output should be b, then bl, blu, blue, bluej. Children, all of you know that the first index number of any string is 0. So, if the length is 5, we have the index numbers from 0 to 4. And if you see here this pattern, what is there? This is the value at 0th index number, then 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Like this. This is your index numbers. According to these index number, their character values are printed. Right Now, if I have to follow this, then 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, then I have to use nested loop. But I don't want that. Right? Then the function which we will be using in this is the substring function. B, B, L, B, L, U, if you see these characters are in continuation. 
and these are the part of the entered string. So, substring function is used to extract a part of the given string. First, if you see what we have extracted from 0 to 0, only 0, then 0, 1, 2 characters, 3 characters from 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3. So, in substring function, we will be using 0, comma i. Right, children? So, first time when you will do substring, 0 comma i that is first time 0 comma 1 s dot. Now in substring function the second argument which you are writing that is not included in the extraction. So if I am writing 0 comma 1 it will extract the 0th character only right. So here it will give me b. Then if I write 0 comma 2 see here what I have done 0 comma I. So, the value of i is increasing every time. Next time when it is 0, it will extract the character starting from the 0th index number that is b till 2 but excluding 2. So, that means it is 0 and 1. So, b and l. Next time when it will be 0, 3, it will extract the character 0, 1, 2. So, it is b, l, u. Next time 0, 4, it will be B L U E 0 1 2 3 right children then 0 comma 5 B L U E J right children now if you see here I have taken the loop I is less than equals to L why because I want to extract the characters from 0 to 4 and if I will write here 0 comma 4 it will extract only 0 1 2 3 so, I have taken the loop till L. That means the last time it will give me the character 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 because the index number 5 will not be used in extraction part. Right children? So, I hope it is clear to you. Substring, all of you know that substring function extracts the character from the starting index number till the ending index number but excluding the second one. Right? So, we move on to the next program. Accept a word and display it in following format. Here if you see what is there, you have the characters starting from 0 till 4. Then you have 0 to 3, 0 to 2, 0 to 1 and 0. Again here we will be using the substring function and children depending upon the length only this is printed. If length is 8, then it will be 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, like that, right? So, here, uh, first time we want what is the length according to that if length is 5 and we are printing all 5 characters in the first one, then 4, then 3, then 2, then 1, right? So, you need to find the length obviously. So, first we need all the characters starting from 0 till length minus 1. So, I have taken the loop i equals to l i greater than 0 i minus minus. Children always when the starting uh, value is more than the final value you know, always it will be decremented operator right. So, here 0 comma i 0 comma i first time it will be 0 comma 5 and just now I told you the second index number does not take part in the extraction. So, you will get the characters from 0 to 4 and if you see blue j, 0 is b, then 1, then 2, then 3 and then 4. Next time, the value of i will be decremented by 1, i minus minus. Now, what will be the value of i now? If the length was 5, now it will be 4. So, 0 comma 4, it will extract the character 0, 1, 2, 3. So, 0 th index number is B, the L, U, E, like this. Then 0, 3, 0 to 2, it will extract, right? B, L, U. Then 0, 2, it will be 0 to 1. B and L and then the last value it is greater than 0. That means the loop will go till 1. So, 0, 1 means 0 to 0 only. And what is that value? B. So, we will get the output like this. Children, 
uh, whenever the questions are asked where you are not supposed to use the nested loop please check out which function mostly in such type of program substring function is used and sometimes caret function is also used right we move on to the next question accept a word and display it in the following format characters are here from the index number 0 1 2 3 4 then 1 2 3 4 2 3 4 3 4 4 and 4 these are the values present at these index number children in the pattern programs it is very very must to observe the pattern and to make out how the loop will go right so we need that first time it should start from 0 go till 4 then 1 to 4 2 to 4 3 to 4 and 4 uh, to 4 now children i think all of you are comfortable using substring function so when we are using 0 to 4 that means i will be using the function substring from 0 to 5 then only i'll get the values from 0 to 4 then i want from 1 to 5 then i want 2 to 5 then i want 3 to 5 and 4 to 5 so children if you see here the first index number which we are using in substring function is a variable 0 1 2 3 it is changing and the second index number which we are using here is fixed 5 5 5 5 now this 5 from where we are getting from the length what is the length of this blue jay screen it is 5 right we are getting this from 5 and this definitely we are going to take as the variable 0 1 2 3 4 4 so if you see here i have taken the loop i equals to 0 and i plus plus update expression so first time it will be 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 right and less than l so it will go till 4 0 1 2 3 4 right and now in substring function what we have used i first time what is the value of i comma l l is 5 so what it will give you b l u e j next time the value of i will be incremented it will be 1 and l is same 5 the next time 2 comma 5 3 comma 5 4 comma 5 like this right children so we are printing the values using substring function from 0 to 5 you will get blue j then 1 to 5 2 to 5 3 to 5 and 4 to 5 right children i hope this program is also clear to you children please practice these programs right now we move on to the next question accept a word and display it in the following format again you don't have to assign the word you have to accept the word right children now you please check blue j this is the entire string and a uh, different type of pattern it is so here what is printed from 0 to 5 that means when we are using substring function we will be using 0 to 5 it will extract 0 1 2 3 4 then in the next one it is 1 to 5 that means 1 to 4 and the 0th one then it is 2 to 5 then it is 0 and 1 then it is 3 to 5 and then 0 1 2 then it is 4 to 5 and 0 1 2 3 children children if you see here this five index number which i have taken will not take part in the extraction right so children for this we need two substring function first for this one and the second one for this right children so children when we are printing here using first substring in the same line we want the output using second substring also right so when we have used both the substring then only we want to come to the next line so here what you want how many times you want the loop 1 2 3 4 5 that means according to the length so the loop will go from 0 to less than l right so it is i equals to 0 i less than l so first time what we want we want the characters from 0 to 4 that means in substring we want i comma l 
so i is 0 for the first time l is 5 so it will extract the characters at the index number 0 1 2 3 4 so here if you see this is index number 0 1 2 3 4 right so all the characters are extracted when we move on to the next line it is 0 comma i what is the value of i here is 0 so 0 comma 0 it will not extract any character so we have got this output first line output using the first print statement and then we give the statement system dot out dot print ln this will bring the cursor to the next line now the loop is over it will come here and the value of i will be incremented by 1. The value of i will become 1. And when it will come here in the loop, it will be 1, 5. 1, 5 is starting from 1, 2, 3, 4. That means here we have got 1, 2, 3, 4. These characters at these index number will be displayed. And cursor will remain there only. Now what we want 0 comma i, we want only the first character, the value of i is 1. So it from 0 to 1 that means only the character at index number and will be printed, right children? Then print ln, it will take you to the next line. Then i will be incremented, it will become 2. So 2 comma 5 will extract the character starting from 2 to 4. 2, 3, 4. Then since we are using print, it will remain there. 0, comma i. 0 and 1. i is 2. So 0 and 1. Then it will be 3, comma 5. So it will extract 3, 4. And 0, comma i. That means 0, 1, 2. Then it is 4, comma 5. So it will be 4. And 0, comma i means 0, 1, 2, 3. Right? So like this you will get the output in this form, right? This is a little tricky question, but once you will practice, you will be able to understand. Children, when you go through the programming, somebody is explaining or your teacher is explaining on the board or on the system, you feel that the question is very easy, the programming is very easy. But the problem comes only when you try to do it yourself. So it's my request to all of you, Please do the programs yourself, written practice. Don't just see the program and think that I am done. No, you need to do the written practice. Just note down the pattern from the screen. Do it yourself and then again check from the video whether your program is correct or not. Right children? So my best wishes are with each one of you for the practice of strength programs. Please do practice these, right children? For today, this much only. If you haven't subscribed the channel till now, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you. You may join us on our telegram channel also. The link is there in the description box. Keep practicing, keep working hard. God bless you children.